Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today we are gonna be doing a wig review from one of my absolute favorite brands. Like I was so excited when they contacted me. If you've been following me for a while, um, whether it's on Instagram or here, whenever I've been asked about like, which are my favorite wigs, I've always said that I love getting wigs from Ava Hair. And they reached out to me and asked me if they could send me a wig, and of course I said yes. So I got it right here in this box, which is kind of mangled, but that's the post office's fault. See, and uh, I'm pretty much gonna show you the wig now, and then I'm gonna naturalize it, and then review it. So this is what it looks like right from the box, and it comes with a wig cap. So I haven't done anything with it. I haven't even cut the lace or anything. So this is what the wig looks like as of now. Beautiful, already layered. And as you can see, there's still the lace on it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how I naturalize my wigs. I know I'm not a pro, but I figured I'd just show you how I do it and maybe it can help some of you. So let's get to it. Okay, so you're gonna need a pair of scissors like this. I think they're called thinning shears. Okay. Then I also use scissors just like this to make extra layers, which I know isn't the proper way. So the first thing we need to do is cut the lace off. So, this is the front of the wig now that the lace has been cut off, so you can still see a bit of the edge, and I can always fix that later. So I'm just trying to see where I would want the part. I'm kind of feeling the middle part. I tend to like middle parts with wigs, honestly. I can look more into that later because for my purposes it doesn't really matter. So a nice brush through, using a wig brush like this, is a good idea. So essentially what I do is I brush through and the good thing is that this wig isn't too thick already because thickness is great but you don't want it to be too thick to the point where you're like okay that's obviously a wig right? Okay I had to move you because I think this might be more helpful. So I take small groups like this, I make sure it's brushed through. And I go through with my scissors, cutting at different heights of the hair. See, and then it'll come out. And usually I brush it out, but some of it will also come out here. And then I do that again. And again, it'll come out. And you can see the difference already towards the ends of the hair compared to the rest of the ends because they're thinning out. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do this side and I'm gonna compare it to this side and then I'll show you guys the result, okay? Okay, hey guys, it took me a minute. Hopefully you can see the difference. Let me put you so you can see in better lighting. So can you see a difference? Is my hair on one side? And this is my hair on the other side. I don't know if for you the difference is obvious, but if I take my hair like this, like I've brushed this out and everything, but look how the ends look. They all kind of cling together. They don't look like real ends. Here instead, I've kind of tried to layer it. I've layered out here, and it's thinner on this side overall. I think a good comparison is also just by how much fits behind my ear. This is the side I made natural, or naturalized, or tried to. Look how it's behind my ear. Look at the side that I didn't, like it doesn't fit. Like even if I push it, it just like pops out. Also, just in case you guys were wondering, that is the sink of just one side of the hair I had to cut out, so it's a lot. So I'm going to keep thinning it out and then I'll show you the end product. As of now, this right here is the parting. 
So one of the most important things is to make the parting look real because I feel like once that's done, everything else is easier. So you can see my finger right under it there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pluck some hairs from the parting um, in order to make it. It's already pretty big, which is a thing that I do like of Ava hair, that they already make it realistic looking enough. But I'm going to pull out an extra few, just use tweezers, and I usually just pluck out an extra few hairs on both sides. Then what we're gonna do is put the concealer. So we're gonna put concealer on the roots to make it look more real. I think that hairline looks pretty good. Um, I know it's not straight, but I can fix that later. Okay, so we're gonna try and remove the shine with some dry shampoo. That looks pretty matte to me. Now we're gonna brush through it, because I sprayed it hardcore on the roots and now they're looking a little bit gray, which isn't necessarily a problem. Does that look more matte to you? I think that's quite a bit more matte. If you look at the hair. Yeah, because look, this is the hair on the inside that hasn't had any spray. And this is the purple on the outside that has had some spray. So I think we did a we, as if there was just, as if you were here with me. The props to you if you've made it to this part of the video because I know that the rest was really messy. I'm still really learning how to do these wig kind of videos. So I think I naturalized it pretty well. I did put dry shampoo on it. I don't know if I put enough or did it properly, but um, I really do like the outcome of the wig. Um, and I do think that it looks more natural than before. I'm not gonna say it looks completely natural because it still is synthetic hair and there's only so much you can do with it and I did my best. Um, but my review for Ava Hair, I've always loved Ava Hair and if you go back in my comments or even on my Instagram, you'll see that they've been tagged a bunch of times. One of my favorite things about Ava Hair though is the thickness and I know that that can sound kind of hypocritical since I do thin it out to make it look more natural, but the thickness gives you so many options, especially like let's say if you get one black wig with hair that's all the same length, you can layer it and do all this crazy shit with it and um, that really makes it versatile to everyone's needs, especially if you're like a pro at cutting hair and everything. The thickness obviously is a marker of quality too, especially because wigs do shed. So it's like you don't want to start off having a really thin wig because you're really gonna end up with a wig with like three hairs on it in the end. So thank you so much Ava Hair for sending me this gorgeous wig. Um, I can't wait to use it in a photo shoot actually. and. I hope this interested you guys. A couple of you guys in my recent videos said that you liked the wig videos and were interested. So let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to my patrons as usual and let's get into the fan art.